Yo, 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 what's up, what it do, what it do? It's your boy, Lou from the Lou. What's happening, what's cracking, what's shaking, what's popping? All that, all that. Yo, I want to give y'all some, uh, some news, man. I don't know if y'all know about this, but, uh, police kneeled on another man, Nick, in, uh, San Francisco. A Navy veteran who was going through an episode of paranoia died after a Northern Carolina police officer knelt on his neck. For several minutes, his family said Tuesday. The family of Angelo Quinto called police on December 23rd because a 30-year-old was suffering a mental illness and needed help. The, the family say the officer knelt on his neck for five minutes and another officer restrained his legs. Angelo Quinto lost conscious and was taken to the hospital where he died three days later. He said, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, as they was putting him on the ground. They handcuffed him and put the knee on the back of his neck the whole time his mother was in the room. She been hugging her son, and he was calm when the, when the police got there. She said she trusted the police because they thought they, she thought they knew what they was doing, but the police was actually... Mm. But her son was actually passive, passive and not dangerous or a threat, and it was unnecessary what they did to him. A video recorded by her showed her son listless and bloody face and his hands cuffed behind his back. She said she started recording when she seen his eyes roll in the back of his head. They filed a legal claim last week, which gave the department 45 days to respond. After that time up, they had filed a federal lawsuit. The lawyer would call this as a George Floyd, George Floyd technique. That's what they call it. When they put their knee on their neck and take your life. Hmm. The lawyer said um, it was issues with the officer's response, including how they didn't try to de-escalate the situation and try to talk to him at first, and how they did not turn their body cameras on or the cameras in the patrol car. The cause of death has not been released by authorities, so they got an independent autopsy being done. It's crazy. The department didn't inform the, the public of his death until January 25th. Wow. The brother they killed, he was born in the Philippines. He was honor, honorably discharged from the Navy in 2019 because of a food allergy. That's what his sister said. He suffered from depression, but his behavior changed after the assault in 2020 when he woke up not remembering what happened. After that, he started having episodes of paranoia and anxiety. His sister said she regret calling the police, thinking that that was the right thing to do. She also said, but right now, I can tell you that the right thing will have not killed my brother. So what we doing now is still killing innocent people that need help. Police. Still killing people that need help. The cops. Still killing people that need help. 5-0. Still killing people that need help. How many times do we have to say this? How many times? It's, it's going to take more than just training for these cops to get this fucking picture, man. The brother needed help, man. They called y'all for help. They called y'all for help. That's what they called the police for, help. Not to, chill, not to kill my goddamn child. He didn't need you to jump on his motherfucking back and put your knee in his neck. He needed help. He having a mental breakdown. He wasn't trying to attack you. fucked up situation I hope these cops go to fucking jail flat out all these fucking pigs need to go to jail for this bullshit my prayer is definitely with that family definitely try to reach out and keep in touch with y'all and find a way to fix this bullshit ass system 
Police, y'all keep getting it wrong, man. Y'all keep getting it wrong. How we dial 911 and we end up DEAD? How? It called you for help and y'all kill the man. Y'all already under the microscope. And y'all keep doing dumb shit and y'all want us to respect y'all? Come on, man. Nah. Nah, this a punk shit. Police, y'all keep fucking up, man. Y'all really need to be disbarred, disbanded, fuck defunded. Need to take, get rid of all these motherfucking cops, man, and start all the way over, man, from scratch. Some punk shit. I ain't feeling this. I'm keep y'all updated, though. It's your boy Lou Fun and Lou, man. Peace.